Okay, drawing our kissing cows. Folder holder is going to open the folder, pass out the blue paper, put the folder back. You're going to take your blue paper. It needs to be horizontal side to side. So the first thing we're going to do is supply manager is going to grab the crowns that match your table. Everybody's going to get the crown that matches their table. You are going to write your name and your teacher's code. Please listen to Miss Lawson. She will remind you what your teacher's code is. Once you get that written, please return your crown to the person who gave it to you so they can return it back to the cup. Then you're going to take your paper and we're going to all flip our paper over so we do not see our name. Now the next art supply I have not passed out. This will be our black crown we're drawing with. So please listen and wait before we pass that out. Once we have it horizontal, we're going to take the short side and we're going to fold it like a book over to the other short side. Yes, your name is going to be on the outside. That's what I want. Then you're going to crease it and you're going to open it. This is our invisible line. This is showing us that one cow is going to be on this side, one cow is going to be on this side. So once we have the paper folded, I will call for supply managers to grab the basket off my table, give everybody a black crown. Yes, little black crowns, big black crowns, broken, they all work. First thing we're going to draw is we're going to get on the right side of our paper. Notice the crease. We are going to start with the nose. Now the nose is going to be, it looks like a pair of sunglasses. So the first line is going to be, this is the top of the nose. Notice it's not all the way to the end of the paper. Once you do that, you're going to start on the end and you're going to go bump, bump. Then we're going to go on the other side of the fold and do the same thing. That line should be matched up. Not, it doesn't have to touch, but it needs to be really close. Bump, bump. Now we're going to make his head with the horn. So it looks like a Batman mask. So you're going up, down, across, up, down. It should touch the ends of your nose. Same thing on the other side. Up, down, across, up, back, down. Okay, so we're going to go to one mouth of the cow and draw a curved line to the other mouth. Go to that mouth and draw a curved line to that mouth. Now the backs of the cow. So I'm going to start over here where the head and the nose meet. I'm going to draw a curved line all the way to the end of my paper. I'm going to jump over and do the same thing all the way to the end of my paper. Okay, so we're going to have to separate the cows in the middle. So starting where this, if your towel, if your noses are touching, you're going to find, but my noses aren't touching. So I'm going to start here and I'm going to draw a line to the mouth, the tongues, jump over the tongues, come back, start the other one, draw a line, draw a line to the tongue, jump over the tongues and come down. If you, your noses are touching, you don't have space right here. You're just going to draw these two lines coming down from the tongues. Now, we are not going to draw the eyes and the nostrils. That part will come after it's dry. We have to get this painted before we add those details of the spots, the nostrils and the eyes. So if you passed out the black crown, get your basket, put all the black crowns back. Please return those to Miss Lawson. If you're the person who passed out the paper, you're going to grab your folder again, collect everybody's artwork and put your cows back in the folder. Next time we meet, we would be painting the cows white and the tongues red. Okay, painting our kissing cows. So folder holder is gonna pass, get the folder, open it up. Everybody should have a paper. We drew this. If you have one, you have your name. If you have a blank paper or do not have a kissing cow, please raise your hand so Miss Lawson can make sure I get to you. So put the folder back, get your kissing cows, and you're going to flip it over, making sure it is on your paint mat. Supply manager, when I call you, you will grab your tray. Remember, any paint, that is in this thing is not for us today. This is all the other paint used for the other groups. Your two colors are sitting on your tray. That same person will take your house, dump it out so they can pass the tippies without touching the danger zone. And then I will instruct the next person to open both paints. Yes, we're gonna be opening both 
paints. You are working at your own pace. What that means is when you finish with white, you'll wipe your brush off and move to red as soon as you are done. So remember, we take our tippy holding it, making sure we don't touch the danger zone. We're gonna start with white and we're gonna start at the top of our cow. Now you gotta make sure you look at your black lines and paint with inside your black lines. So you're painting inside the shape. So I'm getting his head done first. Yes, it's a little see-through, it'll dry better. Then his nose. I'm leaving the tongues, I don't wanna paint that white. I'm gonna go around it and paint the body. making sure I spread the paint out, get it all on here. Now the only part I didn't do is this little part right above the tongue. Okay, so my first cow is done, and now I'm gonna move to the other cow. Okay, again, just making sure I spread out all that paint. I don't want any big globs. As you paint, if you notice, I held down my paper. This is important. If you're putting your fingers in the paint to hold it down, that's not the best decision. Find a space that is dry, like over here, and use it to hold your paper as you paint. Okay, I'm done. I'm gonna make sure that my tippy, instead of wasting time, I should not be painting the paint mat. The paint mat is used to wipe the brush off. Make sure you get your house, put your bottom down, hair up. That goes back on the cart. If I told you to open the paints, you're gonna be the same person who closed the paints, making sure you hear a little snap. Supply manager, you will be walking your tray back to the back counter. Do not forget to dump your paint brushes in the pool. Everybody else, you're gonna listen and wait for Miss Lawson to dismiss you to the drying rack. Remember, you're picking up both papers to walk with you. When you get there, you do need to turn your cows vertical to put it on the drying rack, which is the opposite of what we painted them. This is vertical. So again, lay your paper on the drying rack vertical. Okay, kissing cows, we're gonna be adding our details. So folder holder, when you get the folder, pass out the cows, make sure you look at the name, put the folder back in the tub. Everybody get your kissing cows, make sure that you have it in the right direction. Supply manager, I'm going to call you up for our markers. These are permanent markers. You will have plenty for your table. Keep the basket at your table. Please remember, permanent markers are only to be used on the paper. This is very important or you will lose your opportunity to use the permanent marker. We'll take the top off. Please put it on the back so it does not roll away because if it rolls away, we won't be able to find it. So the first thing we're gonna do is gonna go ahead and go back and add the eyes. If you can see where you drew your eyes, Go over it, if not, make new eyes. And then the nostrils. Okay, once that is done, we're gonna trace the head and the nose. And then that line across to separate those two. Do it for the other side. Okay, now we're going to be going and tracing the tongues. And then we're gonna go down the side of the body, that line in between, and then the body on the outside. So once we trace that, then the next thing we're gonna do is paint or draw the ears. So the ears are coming off the side. You're gonna do a frowny face, a happy face, color it in. Brownie face, happy face, color it in. So we'll do that on both cows. Okay, now for the spots on our cow. Now, we don't want to put so many that we can't understand what's going on. And be careful, we don't wanna put them around the eyes because then you won't see the eyes. So we're gonna start on the body and they're just an organic shape. And what that means is there's not a name for it. It's not like draw a circle 
or draw a square. It's just kind of a shape you are creating. That is an organic shape. And then you're going to color these in. Again, the face, you have to be really careful. I'll show you where to put them on the face. We're going to put them on the sides, not close to the nostrils or eyes. Okay, once you feel like you've got enough of the spots, please take the marker top, close it up. Make sure you listen for the snap. If you can't do it with your fingers, push it against the table. Supply manager, please collect all of our black markers. Bring those to the table. Folder holder, you're going to grab your folder again, and you're going to collect all the cows in the folder and listen for the next direction.